Well, I've been waiting over a week for this. I thought I'd uh, try something different along the lines of my salt printing. And this is hopefully cyanotype. The box is really, really light. So I'm not even sure it's what I've ordered. <laughs> Well, it is what I've ordered. This is a cyanotype kit. You get part A and part B. So theoretically, it's supposed to be a bit easier than salt printing. It's really light and from the sound of it, it's actually a powder form and I was expecting liquid. So, see how it goes. The, uh, the other thing that's quite strange is the containers are smaller than what they show on Amazon. So uh, I was expecting larger containers, but I don't know, let's have a go. Let's do some cyanotypes. One thing that I find a bit strange with all these kits is um, it'd be so nice if they actually worked as they say on the uh, box but not one of these things has seemed to have worked properly yet. Um, this one when it says mix it in equal parts it uh, yeah it was a bit blue um, and again I don't know if that would work as a negative but I've lessened the mix I've done um, more A than B, um, purely because of looking online on uh, eBay, on, on eBay, uh, on online on YouTube, um, the liquid seems to be more yellow um, than blue. But I've got a bit of a green one this time, so this is my first effort at uh, cyanotype. So we'll see how it turns out. As you can see, again bit dreary overcast day so no idea how long this is going to take because again I've never done it before so uh, yeah just uh, see what we get
So it turns out the paper I chose to do my uh, cyanotype um, isn't amazing. So I'm going to head down to Hobbycraft and uh, pick up some more paper. Right, so the paper I was using the first time around didn't seem to hold an image. So um, I decided to go and change the paper. So we've gone and bought the same as what we did with the salt printing paper. And we're going to see whether this one will work any better. So I just thought I'd show you some of the results from the uh, the Jacquard Cyanotype printing kit. When you mix it 50-50, this was the first thing I got, which is just blue. So I knew that I wouldn't actually get any results. Second time, exactly the same. I thought that I might have mixed it wrong. You have to leave it 24 hours for the chemicals to settle, I guess. Um, so I waited another few hours and got pretty much the same result. I did then mess about with um, trying different strengths and got a green effect. I wasn't 100% sure whether this would actually work or print. Um, so I just mixed and tried different strengths. Then tried my first exposure and yeah, as you can see, it was a bit too wishy-washy and didn't actually come out. The next one actually was this one and actually tell a lie, sorry. The next one was actually this one and as you can see, the image didn't hold on the paper. Um, the image came out as you'll see on the camera, but when I was washing it, it just washed off the paper. Um, and this is supposed to be this kind of dark blue, but it just disappeared. So I then changed my paper, thinking it might be my paper, and I came up with this. This again is, um, it's okay, it's a little bit soft, but it's not actually dark as I thought it would be. And again, I don't know whether that's down to the mixing of the solutions. From that, I then changed to watercolor um, A3 paper, and we got our first print. I don't know if you can see here, again, it started to wash off the paper. So while some of this is actually held, some of this is actually washing away. I don't know if you can see that. It's like really faded and washed. Um, it's a quite nice effect, but it wasn't actually what I was hoping for. So I'm not 100% sure whether it is the paper. 
this was a mix of um, three parts A to one part B. I don't know if that was too diluted or what, but the blues are quite strong. Um, then again, I tried another print on the same paper with a different negative and we've got the same results. I don't know if you can see, it's like really washed off the paper. <clears throat> so for my first time cyanotype, I've got mixed bag results. Um, some of it's okay, some of it's as you can see, faded. Like this would be okay if it was a bit stronger and wasn't necessarily faded, but uh, I'm gonna have to experiment. But what my takeaway from this is, this um, Jacquard kit, uh, for me, didn't actually uh, give the results that I was hoping for. Um, it didn't actually come as liquid form, it came as powder, so I mixed it with distilled water. Not 100% sure whether that's correct or whether it needed just to be standard tap water. So uh, hopefully I can uh, mess with the mixtures and uh, get something to work. If we can get uh, a mix of between these two, then it should be uh, okay. Um, the only other thing I need to know is when you put your transparencies and sellotape them to glass the actual face of the transparency comes off the film <laughs> so I need to be aware of that <laughs> yeah so hopefully the cyanotype printing I can get it sorted out and uh, hopefully find a way of doing it I'm not sure if it is the chemicals or the way I'm mixing it or what but when I do the diluted solution it seems to work a lot better I just need to as I've said to before try and find some paper that can actually um, hold the image so if you've got any suggestions on that that would be great um, but otherwise have a go, see what you think. Cyanotype is quite easy, you just buy a kit, part A and part B, sensitize it on the paper, let it dry, and yeah, expose it in the sun. Unfortunately at the moment the weather's pants in the UK, rainy and overcast, so the UV is not exactly brilliant, but uh, yeah, this is a bit different to salt printing. It's not actually uh, silver oxide, it's um, iron I believe. But yeah, first go at uh, Cyanotypes. As you've seen in my last video, I've bought my new printer, so I'm going to be doing some more of that and hopefully you also get into the dark room. So yeah, keep watching and I'll catch up with you later. Cheers.